Hi, my name is Sahira, and welcome to my online belly dance studio. As most of you know, I have been out of the studio for about a year and a half after having my baby last spring. I have been asked by many moms out there, what are some good exercises to get the abdominals back into shape postpartum? So I'm going to share with you here some of my favorite exercises that I did, some of which are just basic belly dance moves, to kind of get back in touch with those abdominals after nine months of carrying baby. As always, talk to your physician or your ob -GYN before starting an exercise program and wait at least six weeks after the birth of your baby to get started with any sort of exercise. So this first movement that we're going to do is not really a belly dance movement, it's a little bit more Pilates based and it's a nice one to begin with because you can do it laying down. So let's go ahead and get on the floor. This movement is done while lying on your back with your feet planted on the floor. You want to bring your feet in towards your tush, but not too, too close. And think about just relaxing the head and the neck and the shoulders back on the floor. From here, without pushing your feet into the floor, I want you to engage your lower abdominals beneath your belly button to imagine pushing your lower spine into the floor and then releasing it back to neutral. We all have a natural arch in our lower back. And in this exercise, I want you to imagine flattening that out and imprinting your lower spine on the floor. This is a nice, gentle rocking motion, kind of the same engagement that we use when we are creating our belly dance posture and thinking about tucking our pelvis a little bit or pointing that tailbone towards the floor. Just rocking and releasing, keeping pressure out of your feet, not pushing into the floor to create this. So tucking and releasing and tucking and releasing. You can continue this idea and slowly peel the lower body up off the floor. Now you do have to push into your feet a bit to make that happen. Taking it gently up to about the shoulders and then releasing it down. Do this really slowly and deliberately, imagining you're feeling all of the muscles in your abdomen, in your abdomen, helping you create a nice, smooth, snaky movement. So peeling the spine up off the floor, getting to about the shoulder blades, and then slowly imprinting it back down on the floor and you can do that as much as you'd like, as good as it feels. Another movement that I'll sometimes do on the floor is like a belly dance ami. So I think about lifting one hip up into me and then coming through that tucked position we were just doing, lifting the other hip up and then releasing gently across the back. I do use my legs ever so slightly to help me with this movement, but I wanna concentrate on those abdominal muscles and those side obliques to help create this movement as well. This is another good massage for your lower spine, which feels oh so good. And then of course try to do it in the other direction as well. So now I'm going left and tuck and right and release. So these are all nice lower abdominal exercises that are very, very low impact, right? Keeping my knees pointed towards the ceiling, trying to not push into my feet too much to create this movement. So that's one basic idea of the floor exercises. Coming to standing, let's look at some of my favorite belly dance exercises. These are just more abdominal contractions that we can use while we're standing washing dishes or while we are sitting feeding the baby for the umpteenth time that day or if you're out for a walk. These are all kind of engagements that you can think of to constantly train those muscles back in. Right? So I'm going to face the mirror here and finding my belly dance posture so my knees are soft and my pelvis is slightly tucked. Using that same movement we did while we were on the floor, tucking and releasing the abdominals, tucking and releasing. I like to think about keeping this fairly low, though honestly the entire abdominal sheet can use a little bit of a workout, so you can think of engaging in and releasing out. Knees have to be soft because the hips are gonna tuck in underneath you. Engaging in and releasing, engaging and releasing. This is something that I do all day long. Just kind of thinking about stretching out that lower back and then engaging those muscles in. You can also do it more, um, muscularly without the skeletal impact. So now I'm thinking of sucking it in, sucking it in and releasing, sucking it in and releasing, being kind and gentle to yourself and remembering that a human being grew in there and it takes a little while for your body to regain its shape. And then when it does regain its shape, it's not quite the same shape you remember it being. And don't worry, it's okay. So engaging and releasing. This is something that I do all day long. Just thinking about gently massaging those muscles, pulling in and feeling that tension, feeling that strength that you do have, even though it takes a little while for it all to kind of re-acclimate re and find its new location. Other movements that I find very nice 
for re-engaging the lower abdominals are undulations and amis. I like doing standing amis. So thinking about lifting, tucking, lifting and releasing, always being gentle on that release to the back. Once again, this is a nice lower uh, back massage and it allows me to contract all the way through. So I'm thinking about contracting from the side to the front hip flexor, to the middle, to the left hip flexor, to the side. So I'm really using the entire circle of muscles to create this movement. So it's really toning all the way across as I come around, nice and gentle. So you can do your AMI, of course, doing both directions. So taking it the other way as well. Now I'm going clockwise, left, tuck, right, release. Thinking about using all of the muscles continuously as you take it around, side, front, side, and release. So AMIs in both directions are a very nice lower abdominal toner as well. And then I like undulations in general because it kind of gets you in touch with that, with that wave of the muscle from top to bottom. So thinking about lifting, dropping, tucking in, and releasing, really over-exaggerating it and trying to make it a really big muscular movement. Lift, drop the chest, engage, 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 release. Lift the chest, drop the chest, and engage, 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 release. So I'm thinking about engaging my abdominals in three places, upper abs, middle abs, lower abs, release. Remembering to bend the knees so that I can come through to the bottom. Up, upper abs, lower abs, middle abs, lower abs, release. Upper back, upper abs, middle abs, lower abs, release. So this is a good one. You can also take it in the reverse direction if you would like. Lower abs, middle abs, upper abs, and lift. Release, lower abs, middle abs, upper abs, and lift. Release, lower abs, middle abs, upper abs, and lift. One more time, release, lower abs, middle abs, upper abs, and lift. That's just a handful of belly dance exercises that will help you get back into shape after baby. Take your time, be patient, and continue dancing.